section. This is particularly useful in geriatric patients uh, who have an anterior head carriage and have a lot of strain through the cervicothoracic junction, and as well as those who would not tolerate thoracic muscle energy or uh, an articulatory or high velocity, low amplitude technique. So with this, I can, just as I would normally assess the cervical spine with translation and rotation, I can move my fingertips down to the upper thoracic spine and assess translation and rotation there. And I can side bend him to the right, side bend him to the left. He prefers side bending to the right and prefers rotation to the left at T1 and T2. Just as in my previous technique with the lumbosacral junction, I'm going to disengage by pressing uh, my fingers up into T1 and T2, and then take him into his ease until I fo uh, find a point of balance there. So I'm going to side bend him to the right and rotate him to the left. And again, most of my force is coming through my middle finger on my right hand that's assisting with the right side bending and left rotation. And then I could assess any barriers within that new positioning until I find a point of balance. At this point, you would hold until you feel a therapeutic pulse. You could also use a release enhancing mechanism by having the patient inhale and exhale. Good. And then you can reassess that area and find less asymmetry.